have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. I get excited 
Well, and when God, it begins to work miracles, miracles are wrought through his vessels. So I thank God tonight for each and every one of you that are listening tonight, that are tuned in. And for those that will come back and listen by replay, we thank God for you. Amen and amen. Listen, I want y'all next time, next week now, I want you to add more people to the list. You go ahead and dig in. You go ahead and look through your um, contacts. And I want you to call them and let them know that this woman of God will be on the air every Tuesday night at the 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Amen. So let us go into prayer. Father, we thank you tonight for these are people that have assembled on this line. We thank you, God, for what you're about to say to us tonight. Father, decrease me. Decrease me where you might be increased and get all of the glory. Father, I just thank you for fresh revelation tonight. Father, break it down for us, oh God. Make it plain, oh God, so that we can run with it, oh God, so that we can apply it to our lives. And Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We are we're still yet rejoicing, oh God, because our day does not finish until every assignment for today is completed. We don't give thought for tomorrow because tomorrow will take care of itself. And Father, we thank you for everyone that works together to make all of these things possible. Father God, I thank you for the uh, uh, the ideas and, and the new ideas, the first ideas that are coming forth now out of Dr. Kimmy Kim and of those that, she, uh, that assist her. And we thank you right now for what you're doing in their lives. We thank you for what you're going to do tonight. Father, bless us tonight, oh God. Endow us with your word, and we thank you, God. We give you praise and honor and glory in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So listen, people of God, I hope that you've taken this time, that one minute, I don't care, I gave you quite a minute, but I hope that you've taken this time to get your neighbors on the phone, your friends, your sisters, your cousin and them, your old, your bae and them, those that need to hear a word from the Lord, those that need transitioning, come on here, those that need to be transitioned from from, from the pit to the palace, come on, those that need to be transitioned from, from the outer court to the inner court, come on, it is time time to transition, amen? It is time for us to transition our minds. Our mindsets need to be elevated. We need to go up in this thing. We need to stop thinking low. We need to stop low calling God because our God is not a low caller. He's a high focus. He is the, he orchestrated the ball club. Come on here. He is the undisputed king of glory and we worship him tonight. Hallelujah. So listen, people of God, there are so many things that people are sitting and complaining. They're murmuring and complaining, but I'm going to tell you this, I ain't got time for no pity parties. I'm sorry, I love everybody, but I ain't got time to sit and listen to no pity party. If you want a pity party, go find you another person that's in a pity because I can't listen. I'm telling you where I am right now in God, I don't have time to listen to people that want to stay in low bar, who want to stay in that low man mentality, who want to stay uh, like they're outcasts. So if you want to be an outcast, you stay an outcast. But I'm telling you, God has more in store for you than what you're allowing him to show you. Some of you are not giving God the right chances. Some of you have uh, said, well, if you, if Lord, if you love me, you'll do this. And he didn't, and it seemed like he didn't do it. So now you're saying, oh, he don't love me. You are wrong about that. He loves you. Glory to God. Even when you're in your sin, he's still there. Even when you have let him down, he was still there. Even when you were doing things that you know you didn't have no business doing, God still was there. He let you made up your own decision. But listen, he still loves you because he's God and you belong to him. Glory to God. Now, but for those of you who have already said that you are satanic or you're Satanist, uh, and we know that you are on the other side, we do understand. I'm not messing with you. Don't you mess with me. I love God and I love everything about him. I love everything about his word. And if you want to worship the devil, you stay over there and worship the devil. Amen. Because God already knew. He said everybody wouldn't be saved. He know that everybody wouldn't be saved. Glory to God. If you read in Revelation, we're talking about the 144,000 and the two-thirds. Listen, ain't that many people going to make it in them. The Bible says you're going to scarcely make it in. Come on in, somebody. So, so why are you sitting there trying to figure everything out and figure out everybody? Work on you. Ask God to show you yourself. Because anytime you go to God talking about somebody else, he'll reveal to you who you really are. Amen. Glory to God. So let's fix our own selves up. Why are we, you know, you talking about the beam and somebody else is like, oh, yeah. 
You're talking about the beam in somebody else's eye, the boat, the moat, the, the dirt in somebody else's eye. Your eyes are not clean. Hey, so get your eyes clean first, and then you go help your brother get the moat, the boat, the, the dirt, and everything else out of his eyes. Amen? That's how that thing works. Amen? Work on you. So when people see that you have worked on you, then, then when you go to them, they'll be receptive of what you have to say. But people ain't going to receive you if you still look like the same junkyard dog that was that was talking and cursing and cussing, cussing, not cursing, but you might have been doing that as well. And people ain't going to receive all that junk. People are tired of out of ordinance. God is a God of order. And people are getting tired of your out of ordinance. So that's why they begin to separate themselves from the confusion. Because when people want to live a peaceable life, the Bible tells us to follow peace with all means. But how can we follow peace with hell raisers? And all they want to do is bring confusion. They love trouble. They love trouble. They love they are uh, they love to see mess, mess makers. They love the drama of all of the attention that it causes and that that things that can transpire. So listen, I don't want to be around drama people. Always drama. Every time you go around them, they start, they create, they start it, and they want to end it. Come on. Glory to God. It's time out for that. And then when you call them on the phone to check on well, you know, I ain't got this, and I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I ain't got that, and he ain't did this. Listen, you have every opportunity, people of God, to change your situation. If your environment is not conducive to the Spirit of God, or it is not conducive for you learning, it is not conducive for you to make money and be in, uh, and be wealthy and be in good health. If it's not conducive for you to uh, elevate your mind to have a uh, to have a strong will to serve the Lord, if it's not conducive for you to get your husband and be happy and, and be fruitful and multiply, replenish, replenish the earth. If it is not conducive for you doing what you want to do, your career, your idea. If it's not conducive, then you need to change your environment. Simple as that. Change your environment. I am so tired of people being mad at me because they are not in their places. They're not doing what God called them to do. They're not do- even doing some of the things that they said when they were younger that they wanted to do instead of them doing those things. Some said, I want to be a nurse. Some says, I want to be a doctor. Some says, well, I just want to be an engineer. All right. And then they don't do it. It ain't my fault. Because I'm doing what I'm what I'm purposed to do. We were created to praise Him. I'm created to praise God. But even in my creation to praise God, God has given me many talents and many gifts. Amen. Just like with you, we just not only praise God. Amen. But we have gifts and talents that help take care of of, of others. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says your gift will make room for you. Amen. And it'll bring you, you know, before great men and great women of God. Listen, your gift, that means the gift that he gifted you to sing. He gifted you to write. He gifted you to uh, uh, to teach and train. Those gifts right there will make room for you. Amen. They will bring you before great people. If you have the right spirit, if you stay humble, they'll help get you to your next destination. But if you are, uh, you got the gift, but you got a nasty attitude. You got a nasty disposition. You are always looking down nose at people. It ain't going to get you nowhere. You, I mean, you listen, you could be making six figures, seven or eight figures, but because of your nasty attitude, you ain't even making five figures. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to watch your attitude, your disposition, your nastiness, your ugliness. Come on here. It will keep you in a pit. It'll keep you stuck. Because you're not, you don't have the spirit of humility. Come on. We got to be humble in this thing. However, God, I tell the Lord, Lord, however how you take me. Yes, I've had plenty of money. Hallelujah. In my lifetime, I've had plenty of money. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I ain't ashamed to tell it. I had lived in an almost $500,000 house. I had plenty of money, money that we worked for, we earned. Come on. In businesses and stuff. But this, let me say this. We got to learn how to be a base and a bound, right? 
But listen, there are times when you have things, there are times when you won't have. But listen, can you not have and then God turn that thing around? Can you work on yourself? Can you do um, redo some things over so that you can better yourself so that you don't lose what you had or lose some of what you had so that God can rebuild you, reshape you, remake you, remold you so that you can be the man, the woman of God that he called you to be? Amen. Yes, it hurt when I lost that house. Come on, somebody. Oh, it hurt. Yeah, I'm transparent. It hurt. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I want you to know that God reveals. Come on here. He reveals. He reveals. And when it was God was going through that process, God told me, he says, oh, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. i like, oh, Lord, have mercy. And so even now when I think about how big that house was, and right now I'm in the process of purchasing a new home, I'm like, Lord, I, 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 I you know, this, that was a big house. That was a lot of upkeep. I'm older. Amen. And I just don't want all that upkeep. But I said, Lord, I'm not going to minimize what you want to do for me. And if you want to give me a 6000 that house was almost 6000 If you want to give me another 6000 or if you want to give me a 12000 square feet house, I would gladly take it. Father, I would take whatever you want to give me, and I'll just have a maid. Hey, listen, we got to do what we got to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I know that's going to be too much work for me. And all the things that I have to do in ministry, all the things that I have to do in businesses, they Hey, that's just a little bit too much. Listen, people of God, there's nothing wrong. Don't stop talking about people are a jack of all trade and a master of none. Y'all say that because your mind is little. Your mind is small. Come on here. You got the narrow mind. Because let me tell you something. We should all have multiple streams of income. Come on, somebody. Well, I may not make it in the food business, but I got to make it in the clothing business. I may not make it in the clothing business, but I make it in the real estate. I may not make it in the real estate, but I make it in the uh, beauty salon, beauty and barber salon. Come on here. We got to have multiple streams of income. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So when one don't work, the other one is working and it carry and it also can add. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank you tonight, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name. And we thank you tonight, God. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So so here we are. Amen. Tonight, let us get ready to go into the word of the Lord. I want y'all to stop complaining. I want y'all to stop uh, having a pity party. Don't nobody want to call nobody. And they, they, they just want. It's a difference in having a pity party than venting. When you vent, you're saying, listen, my friend, listen, I am I went through, I had a horrible day. Um, uh, they came up against me, yada, yada, yada. I'm trying to do this for the Lord. Every time I seem to like try to do move forward in what God has called me to, the devil is always present. Then the Bible said, then David says, listen, or Paul says, when I try to do good, evil was always present. Um, so I'm saying, uh, 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 you know, we have to understand that when you have a mandate from God, either Satan, the way Satan comes, y'all, he don't come in in no new ways. Can I help y'all? I'm telling y'all the truth. He doesn't come in new ways. He comes the same way every time. He just used new people. Can I help you? And he'll use, use new problems, but it's the same thing. Just like if he attacks your body every time you preach, he's always attacking your body. He may not, well, one time it may be your leg, next time it may be your arm, but it's still your body, your stomach, whatever. That's an attack on your body. Some people, he attacks your finances. And it seems like every time you try to uh, have a, a conference or whatever, you don't even have enough money to do it. But God eventually makes the way out of a no, uh, he makes way out of no way because the enemy tries to fight you so that you don't have enough money to put it on or to, to do it. Amen. So he, the devil always try to put, throw a stumbling blocks in our way so that we won't um, walk out our mandates. But I want you to know tonight that, listen, we're going to continue to cover one another. We got to cover each other. Amen. We, it just, it's not, it's going to take not just one person to cover me. It's going to take a whole village. Come on. Amen. Because the demons that are out, the, all of the different things that are, we're dealing with incantations. Uh, 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 we're dealing with sorcery. We're dealing with witchcraft. You're dealing with the tarot card readers, the necromancers. Amen. You're dealing with the astral projectors. You're dealing with uh, warlocks. You're dealing with uh, the marine spirit. You're dealing with, um, um, did we say tarot? You're dealing with the, soup, the, uh, the uh, soothsayers. 
Amen. You're dealing with devineers uh, and the spirit of divination. You're dealing with um, you're dealing with Jezebel and the Ahab spirit. You know, you we dealing with so many different kinds of spirits. Amen. And and um, it is just amazing how God will let some of us get up at three o'clock to pray. Now, I hope that y'all understand if you're up at three to pray, that your prayer is to bind and break uh, and, and cast down and annihilate everything that the enemy will try to do to God's people, because that is the hour when the witches are praying, okay? Three o'clock a.m. is the hour when the witches are praying. And let me tell you something. Some of their prayers are just the same prayers as we pray. You hear me? They're praying to their devil the same way we pray to our God, because you got to remember Satan wanted to be a replica. He wanted to be Jesus, but he could not. He wanted to be God, but he could not. He is a replica. So to them, he's their replica. So they pray to their Lord, and that's who their Lord is. But we have to come up against every the, uh, we have to bind the hand of the enemy because he, there are things that he would try to do to us, set up to do to us every day. That's why we have to command our days in the morning. That's why it's so important that you get up and pray. It is so important that you not lay down in the bed and, and, and not give God his, I don't care, you need to pray because prayer is essential in this hour. And if you don't have a posture of prayer and a posture of obedience, I'm sorry, it's going to be hard to make it in. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I am watching my time. Amen. Let us go to a, a familiar scripture, and I won't be before you long. Amen. I thank the Lord tonight for each and every one of you. Psalms, the 24th chapter. I'm going to read it in its entirety. Uh, Psalms, I'm sorry. Psalms, the 24th division, not chapter. Sorry about that. Psalms 24. Psalms 24 and beginning at verse 1, this is something that David said is the psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Y'all hear that? So make no mistakes about it. The universe is does not belong. The earth does not belong to the universe. People saying, "Well, you know, I I I I I serve the universe. I reverence the universe and the energy." Okay, y'all better stop fooling with them energies and them beads and all of that. Them bracelets. You better take them bracelets off your arm. There was a woman. <coughs> excuse me, you guys. That posted yesterday that went, mirrors are. Uh, uh, carry spirits. She said, take all the mirrors out your house, okay? And so my daughter had posted and tagged me in it to see what I was going to say. I didn't say anything until this morning because God had me up. And, and then when I um, get on to go to my emails and, and um, she had tagged me in it again and I and then I looked at it and I, I began to look at all the comments, that I mean comments. And so she was telling the people, don't have mirrors. She said, and don't have a mirror in your bathroom because it'll break your relationship up. Um, she said, even I mean, on your bedroom, it'll break your relationship up. She said, mirrors in your bathroom. And so one lady said, well, I got to have a mirror. My, so I knew how I look. She said, well, just get your handheld mirror. And then they were talking about the breaking of the mirrors. Listen. I was just listening because I knew something wasn't right with this woman. I didn't want to say nothing was wrong with her mind. Another friend of mine, a guy, another prophet said there was something wrong with her mind. I said, but it's something else. And then she said, when she said this, then I knew what it was. She said, because mirrors open portals, right? All right. And then so, then so uh, she said, um, then she went down to say that I am a medium and, and a seer. So she's saying she's a medium, and medium uh, are, are nothing but like necromancers, where they mediums talk to the dead. Necromancers, they see dead, they dream of the dead, and they talk to the dead while they're asleep. Okay? All right. So um, then I said, now I got it. She's a witch. She's a witch. But what happened is she's opened up a portal. Because he talked about that, that the, the wind mirrors of portals. Let me tell you something. Uh, anytime you allow the devil in your space, that's a portal, okay? That's why when we're praying, we want to seal our prayers. That's why when you are in, if you're in covenant 
with somebody, um, you know, when two or three are touching on the same thing, you're agreeing, come in agreement with someone, you want to make sure that you agreement and that, that there's nothing in between. And two time you li- allow the devil to get in any space. If you give him a little space, he's going to take much space. Anytime you bring the devil in anything, you will open up a door. So we have to close every door that we have ever opened up in our lives, whether it be word curses, whether we have said ugly things to our kids, you know, like they get on our nerves. Yes, they do get on your nerves and they will get on your nerves. And you may say you, you need to go sit a little uh, sorry tail down somewhere or whatever word you say. Amen. Mothers, parents, listen, we all have done it. And if you have not, God, you need a pat on the back because children will make you say things to them because of their disobedience. And if when we do say those things, we have to go back and repent and then we have to repent to them. I didn't mean to say that to you, but you act sorry. That's what I tell them. You act sorry. You know what I mean? And so, uh, uh, but, you know, and then if you put them in time out, they don't work. Not for some children. And I, you've been in the education, the social worker field uh, forever. And I, and I'm telling you, time out does not work for African-American children, okay? And, and it doesn't work uh, for the white kids either. As far as starting out when they're younger, it may work, but then they're going to fuss and get out of that too. So it really doesn't work. But um, however, I'm not saying you beat your kids to a pulp. I didn't say that. But we have to come up with measures to get their attention, right? And I ain't saying you cuss them out like they're dog, another man or another woman either. Because I hear parents, I've heard parents call, call their daughters bees, yada, 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 that you don't curse them like they grown. Come on. Now, if you're going to curse them like they grown, when they curse you back, then you're going to be mad. Come on, somebody. So, but um, I'm saying that we have said things. Uh, and we didn't mean to say them, so we opened up a portal. But if you don't go back quickly and repent, then, you, you, then you're closing that door so that they won't be sorry. So and you know what I'm saying? We've got to shut the door to everything that we've opened up a door, even out of our mouths. But in our mouths, lies life and death is in the power of your tongue. So we have to speak life and not death. Amen? Because when we speak death, Come on, the enemy has a chance to go ahead and grab that word, and he try to bring it to fruition. So we have to counsel that plan. Father, I'm sorry I repent for saying that to to my child, and then I go to my child, listen, you have to have calmed down, because you have to calm down, because, see, they can say or do something. Their mannerism can cause you to go right back and say something again, because they just, just, you know, hey, Satan is in operation, and you have to bind that spirit up that's operating in them. Because when they leave you, they can be sweet as pie, but when they leave you, they go into a world that's hellish, that's that's dogmatic, you know what I mean? They go into it, but they got peer pressure, they're dealing with all kinds of things, and so when they come back, you know what I mean? They may be something else. They may be acting like somebody else that they just were in, in cahoots with, or someone else that they saw act out to the teacher with, and now they think they can do that to you. So we have to pray. Amen. Let us go back to the word. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his hand unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Listen, y'all. You're going to have, God is coming back for a church without a spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We're going to have to have clean hands. And that means whatever we used to do, if we dealt in, in, in maliciousness, if we dealt in uh, sorcery, if we dealt in tarot card reading, if we dealt whatever we dealt in that was not of God, we're going to have to repent and get it right. We're going to have to get delivered. Amen. You're going to have to get totally delivered because if you are, you say you delivered and, and you're not really free, the uh, residue will still be on you. Come on. If you say you're delivered homosexual and you still popping your lips and snapping your fingers, the residue is still there. When you are delivered for real, can I help y'all tonight? When true deliverance have taken place, have manifested, you will never see no more residue. You'll never see a gay man walk twisting. You'll never see him popping his finger, popping his lips and snapping and bobbing his head and all of that. Once he get delivered, he's going to be straight, just like the men of God that God created him to be. Amen. Hallelujah. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Stop having a pity party. 
Stop looking down. Stop criticizing. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining. Stop throwing in the towel. Stop uh, cursing God. Stop stop cursing your friends. And, and I'll stop talking about every situation. Stop talking about these pastors and leaders, amen, that's doing the will of the Father. Stop talking about these doctors and nurses and, and, and these lawyers and judges and, and the president. If you ain't going to do nothing about it, if you don't vote, don't you complain. Come on here. Stop talking about all these people. Lift up your heads, oh, ye gates. Ah, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. If you just lift your head up, God, ah, my God, I love this scripture. If you just lift up your head, come on here and stop looking down. Come on, you can see. If you look up your, lift up your head and look to the hills from which cometh your help, you can live. Come on here, lift up tonight and live. Hallelujah. Who is the king of glory? The Lord. The Lord strong, mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He's mighty in battle, y'all. He is fighting for us. Glory to God. He's fighting for you, baby. He's fighting for you to get your help back. He's fighting for you in the court system. He's the judge and the lawyer. Oh, my God. He's almighty. He's fighting for us. He's dispatching your warring angels on your behalf, your angel of abundance. Whatever you need, God is fighting for us. He said, I will fight those that fight you. I will contend with those that contend with you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Selah. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord tonight. Amen for his word. God claims earth and everything in it. God claims the world and all who live on it. He built it on ocean foundations, laid it out on river girdles. He Who can climb Mount God? Who can scale the holy north face? Only the clean-handed, only the pure in heart, men who don't cheat, women who don't seduce. God is at their side. With God's help, they make it. This Jacob is what to God. This is what happens to God's seekers, God questers. Those of you who get up early in the morning, hallelujah, glory to God. Those of you who get up, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. You are the generation that seek him, and you seek his faith. Glory to God. Something happens when you get up early in the morning. Wake up. You sleepyhead city, wake up, you sleepyhead people. King glory is ready to enter. Who is this king glory? God armed. He's armed, y'all. Just like we got to be armed with our, our weapons, our weapons of war. Hallelujah. Our weapons of prayer is your weapon. Your, wep- your tongue is your weapon. Pull your sword. Come on here and battle ready. Wake up, you sleepyhead city. Wake up, you sleepyhead people. King glory is ready to enter. Who is the king? Glory, God of the angel armies. He is king of glory. I hope that you've been blessed by the word tonight. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and move on over to our next phase of our service tonight. We bless the Lord for his holy word. Lift up your head. It is time for you to look up and live. It is time for you to lift up your head. See, some of you, when you're in a pity party, your head is down. You don't see nothing but death. You don't see nothing but darkness. You don't see nothing but confusion. You don't see no way out. All you see is doing something to hurt yourself. Why you want to hurt yourself? Why you want to kill yourself? Why you want to take all those pills to end your life? Don't you know somebody care about you? Don't you know God loves you? Don't you know you got a lot of children that need you? Don't you know if you kill yourself, ain't nobody going to treat your children like you would? Don't you know you are you're causing some the molestation to happen to your children if you die. Come on here. You are needed. Hallelujah. We bind the suicidal thoughts tonight. We bind every suicidal spirit. Hallelujah. You're gonna go ahead and kill yourself and then you ain't gonna make it into heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we bind the, we bind that spirit. That that we bind the spirit of heaven is tonight off of God's people. We bind the spirit of depression, oppression, suppression. Hallelujah. We bind, oh my God, regression. Come on here. We bind uh schizophrenic, uh uh uh, uh multiple personality disorder, bipolar disorder. Oh my God, we bind every mental illness tonight in the name of Jesus that grips the people of God. 
God. We bind fear tonight. Fear has no place in your life. But God, I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. We bind these spirits right now because if you don't stop, uh, if you keep letting them uh, grab hold of you, it's going to be hard for you to get uh, what God has for you. You got to get up. You got to become. You can't be fearful. You can't doubt and fear God. Come on here. You got to believe God. You first got to come to God knowing that he is a reward to them that diligently seek him. You got to have faith the size of a mustard seed. That ain't nothing. If you got one little piece of dirt of faith, you can move mountains. If you just believe, you got to believe now. But if you don't believe, what can we say? Glory to God. So listen, stop fighting those who God has put in your life to, to be a blessing to you. Stop fighting those who God has placed in your life for your deliverance. Who, who Your deliverance is in their hands. Come on here. Stop fighting those and go ahead and get on board so that you can get what you need, so that God can raise you up in the kingdom, so that God can raise you up in the admonition of him. Come on. Glory to God. And we bless the Lord tonight. So right now, Dr. Kim and Kim, we're going to go ahead and open up the phone lines. Amen. So that I may be able to speak into the lives of God's people. Listen, people of God, we're not going to answer. We're not going to speak at all at the same time, but we do want you to speak. Once you hear the, the next, once you hear the speaker speaking, just uh, phones on mute. Amen. And we thank God. Good, uh, good evening, Carla. You're on the air. How you doing? Good evening, Good Paula. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Um, this is uh for Pat, Miss Pat, uh, uh Pat's granddaughter. I'm taking care of my grandmother. This is a Rita C. Okay, say, say one more time. This is a Rita C. Blackman. Okay. I'm taking you care of my grandmother. granddaughter. Yes, ma'am. Amen. God bless you. How you doing tonight? Um, she trying to hang in there. Um, she can't sleep at night. She can't breathe at night. She wants you to. Can you pray for her? Who, Miss Powell? Yes, ma'am. She's had. She's been having complications. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We sure can pray for. Her. You got the phone up to her ear. She hear you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, I come to you as humble as we know how. Father, I give you glory for this vessel right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I bind every form, hallelujah. I bind every form of confusion right now, every form of division that is trying to come into her home, into her life right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Father God. I speak to her uh, her body right now that it lines up in every area. Father God, I speak tonight that you would give her sweet rest, oh God, in you. Father God, whatever that's on her mind, oh God, let her cast her cares upon you, for you care it for her. Father God, let her give it to you, Jesus. Hallelujah, because she can't, she can't worry about it. Hallelujah, Father God, I know that it concerns her, but she cannot worry about it. So, Father, tonight I ask that you allow her to, her to be able to breathe, oh God. Father God, I, I speak now that you would give her the oxygen in her body. Hallelujah. That, that she'll be able to breathe normally, oh God. Hallelujah. And that she'll be able to sleep through the night. Father, I come up against the enemy right now that's trying to attack her body. I come up against Ebashanda. Oh, Bashanda I bind the hand of the enemy right now because we pray for her every day. Father, I bind the hand of the enemy right now and I send the spirit. Hallelujah. Back to outer darkness she can rest in the, and find in none. I come up against the spirit of division that would try to break up families right now in the name of Jesus. I bind every form of oh, Basha interference. Hallelujah. When God is trying to mend back things together, I bind the spirit of interference right now in Jesus' holy name. Father, I speak tonight that I, as you bind, bind shed not, as you, oh, Bashanda, as you lay your hands, hallelujah, on this woman of God, supernaturally in God, that she will be supernaturally healed in Jesus' name. And we thank you for the manifestation. Father, I declare and decree, hallelujah, that she shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord, I declare and decree that she shall be able to inhale and exhale, that her uh, chest cavity will not be uh, filled with any inflammation. Oh, oh, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, inflammation. Oh, God, I thank you right now that she's able to breathe in the name of Jesus. I bind any uh, nasal uh, congestion in Jesus' name, even headaches right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I even speak to her heart that it, it, uh, it, it has uh, uh, the right 
rhythm, oh God. And I thank you right now, Father. I thank you that everything, every all our organs are functioning in divine order, that there be no backup, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for healing her from the top of her head to the very sole of her feet. Now, God, heal her mind, heal her heart, heal her children. Oh God, do what you do as you as you do it well. Lord God, do it for her tonight. And we thank you, oh God, for her life. Amen. And she will as she is an example. Hallelujah. In the body of Christ. And we give you praise for it tonight, God. And we thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tell her I will check on her tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. All right. God bless you guys. Thank you for calling. God bless you too. You're welcome. Amen. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See that when you when um the enemy don't want to see us uh in our proper places and doing what God calls us to do. Anytime you start praising God like you're crazy for real, uh the devil get mad because he he wants the glory. He wants the all of that. He don't want you to he wants you to give it to him. Now we're gonna praise God. Hallelujah. All the way to the end. We're going out praising him. Amen. Hallelujah. Call you on the air. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hello. Good evening, Carly. Good evening, Carly, on the air. And my name is Teresa Taylor McDuff. I would just like for you to just pray for me. Can I can you tell me what city is that you're calling from? I'm I'm New Hebrew, Mississippi. Amen. So you said um your uh, your name again, I'm sorry. Teresa Taylor McDuffie. Okay. <clears throat> God bless you tonight, woman of God. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray for this woman of God, your vessel, oh God. I pray for Miss Teresa uh, McDuffie tonight. God, you know what she stands in need of. You know what her family is in need of right now. So, God, I ask that you make haste for her, oh God. Father God, I ask that you move in her life expeditiously. Oh God, uh, I stand in agreement with her, oh God, on some things. And Father God, let your will be done in her life. Not our will, but your will. Woman of God, I see that there is a uh, uh, there is a need for, uh, for some peace. I see that you, you're not having peace. Yeah, my son died in your home. I, I, I sense that uh, there is uh, uh, it's like anxiousness. Um, God says, whatever you need, He's there to supply. He says, whatever you need, He's there to supply. I feel that there's some anxiousness. It's like God, if you don't come through, it's not gonna happen. God, I need you to move right now. There's if you're in a situation, it's like a nine one one emergency. Hallelujah! But the Father would have me to tell you, just hold on. Help is on the way. Do you hear me tonight? Yes, ma'am. I hear you. Okay, I didn't know if you could. Thank you, Lord. Hey, God said, help is on the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God said, you've been crying over a few things, and there's some things that's not settling right in your spirit. And even with this son, I don't know if this is your son or your nephew or your godson. He's like a son to you. God said, you concern about him. He, he, you, care, he care, you carry him here in your heart. But God said, even with that situation, God said, I got him. I got it, and everything's going to be all right. God said, I'm making all the crooked places straight. God said, I just want more of you. He said, he's desiring to be more, have more of you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's more that God wants you to do, even on in the earth. There's more that he wants you to do. And I, mighty God, out of the most, Kianda, and we just thank God for your life right now. Hallelujah. God is turning some things around, woman of God. You be, you know, be of good courage. Amen. Be of good courage. I want you to be encouraged tonight, knowing that God is fighting for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I thank you for calling in tonight. Call to join us back again next week. Amen. Amen. You can also join my Facebook page on Monday night, Sylvia Hunter, uh, every Monday night at 7 p.m. Keep it real with Dr. Sylvia Hunter every Monday night. You can do my Facebook page. And meet me back on here, up right here on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And God bless you and great to have you on. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Caller, you on the air. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift up your head tonight, people of God. Lift your head up. 
Good evening. Amen. Good, Good evening. evening. God bless Thank you. you. Um, my name is Kendra, and I was on the uh, radio broadcast listening, and I just wanted to ask for prayer for my family as a whole. Amen. Uh, what city and state? Mississippi, Brookhaven. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this vessel. <coughs> Excuse me. We thank you for this vessel tonight, oh God. We bless you for her life. Father, I thank you for what you're doing in her life. I thank you for taking her from faith to faith and glory to glory. Father, I thank you for growing her up in the realm of the spirit. Father, I thank you for her family right now. Father, you know what they're standing in need of. God, make haste for the children, oh God. Continue to help them to grow to be successful in life, oh God. Let them be the children of men and women of God that you have born them to be. Lord, let them be your representatives. Father God, I declare and decree that they shall walk up right before you. I declare and decree tonight, oh God, that they, they will be your spokesman. Father God, I thank you that you're moving in their direction, oh God, and I thank you for their lives. Father God, we thank you for the family as a whole, as a unit, oh God. Lord, add joy back in the heart. Oh, my son, to add joy back tonight, God, give them their joy back, oh God. Oh God, I know that things have not always been as, as, as well as they are now. And, oh, God, but I thank you, that Father, that you can add some joy. You can add some peace, oh, God. You can add some happiness. You can put some love in that too, God. You can add, oh, my Shanda, oh, God, you can bring all things back together. Father, I thank you for the family unit and the strength of the family. Father, God, I thank you that a, a strong family can be the, 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 the um, epitome of, of an example in every community. And, God, we thank you for the model family tonight. Father, God, we ask that you continue to bless the woman of God. Amen. Continue to allow her to see you in a more excellent way. God, continue to reveal, reveal yourself to her. Reveal her purpose in you, oh God. And we thank you tonight. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And he's thank so you. worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad you came on with me tonight. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. All right. Love you. Love you more. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good evening. (coughs) Amen. Y'all got to keep saying lift up your heads, y'all. God won't encourage us tonight. Lift up our Amen. heads. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it sounds like. I don't care what it feels like. Lift up your head and give God a praise. Call you on Amen. the air. Thank you. Man. God bless you tonight. Call you on the air. Call you on the air. We praise God tonight. Amen. I saw, I heard two people talking at the same time, but we bless the Lord. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you that have uh, tuned in tonight. Amen. I hope that uh, Amen. the Lord ministered something to you. Call her, you're on the air. Go ahead. Amen. Uh, Apostle Hunter, uh, this is Minister Emma. I was just saying amen. I was just thanking the Lord, you know, for what you were saying and the, I thank you for bringing the word and may the Lord, you know, uh, pull back into you as you pull out to, to the congregation. I just thank you. I appreciate everything you do for your congregation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. Amen. God bless you tonight, woman of God. I'm, let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for this vessel of honor. Lord God, as she continues to live right before you, God, I ask that you... Give her her heart's desire. You said that she delight herself also in you, that you would give her her heart, you would give her the desires of her heart. So tonight, God, make haste, oh God, on those heart's desires. Lord God, we thank you for family restoration. We thank you that you're pulling all things back together. You're mending the broken hearts. Father, I thank you now that as you restore them, oh God, many others will begin to be restored. Father, I thank you for what you're doing in her life. I thank you for how she's growing up in you, oh God, and how you're using her for such a time as this. Father, God, continue to pour into her more knowledge, more wisdom, and understanding. Father, I thank you for how you're revelating that word to her, oh God. And I thank you for how she's delivering it and conveying it to your people. So tonight, God, I lift up this woman of God. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, out of her for her obedience, oh God, to you as well as to her leaders. Father God, I thank you right now. 
Oh God, ah, man, sick, oh, I'm a sick. Hallelujah, God, for where you get ready to take her to. Eyes have not seen, neither have oh. ears heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of man what God has prepared for you, woman of God. You just Thank watch you. what I'm telling you. You keep your head Thank lifted you, up Lord. and live. Come on here. Yes, God got yes, great things yes. in store Thank for you. you. That is Thank the word you. of the Lord for you tonight. Oh, you go in peace knowing that yes. God is fighting for you. Thank you. I receive it. And I love you. Love you more. God bless you. Look like Mississippi tuning out tonight. Where my New York folks at? Glory to God. (laughs) Glory to God. Carla, you on the air. We got a few more minutes. Y'all better come on in. Good, Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm wonderful. This is Mr. Raw from Theodore, Alabama. All right, Alabama in the house. Woo-woo. I have two <laughs> little joke word on tonight, and I will take it and apply it to my life. And I thank God for you. Thank God for what you're going to do in your last life as well. And we thank I God accept. for it on tonight. Amen. I accept. Listen, woman of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. God is so amazing, and he's showing out in your life. I'm telling you, um, you are seeing the some of the promises that were spoken over your life. You're living in it right now, but you ain't seen the best yet, okay? You lay, oh, my shy, it, the half ain't even been told, if I could tell you that. The half ain't even uh-huh. been told. But God said to tell you, he's giving you choices. Hear me, follow me, walk with me in the spirit. He said he's giving you choices now. You'll begin to have multiple choices. Ah, mine say, mine so by. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to give you choices, like seven choices. You're going to have to choose. Come on here. And, yeah, and God said, whatever you choose, I'm going to make it work. Thank you, Lord. Whatever you choose, I'm going to make it work. Ah, sick on the mind. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. This one's going to come. That one's going to come. They're coming quickly, too. Hallelujah. They're going to come in droves. Ah, by Sunday. Amen. So the Lord see on the God say, ah, no. Whatever you choose, I'm going to make it good now. I'm going to make it good. Thank God. Hallelujah, glory to God. It is your time to shine. Don't you let nobody minimize your shine. Don't you let nobody minimize your spirit of happiness, your spirit of joy, your spirit of want to be at peace, your spirit of want to be free, carefree. Come on here. It's all right to do the God's business and then be carefree because what you're saying when you're carefree is I, whatever happens, I know God got me. I know God got it. That's why I'm living in him. You know, so listen, enjoy life. Hallelujah. Live a balanced life. Everybody go rush from because I'm going to tell you something, you may go to church a lot, but uh, when milk to come, you ain't going to be going to church all that. Uh... <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. But I thank God that he's showing out in your life, woman of God. He is spending. Listen, you, he's showing out. He's, you know, you're seeing some of the things that have been spoken, but you ain't, that, you ain't, that, that, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. I'm talking about God is getting ready to show out in your life. Again, don't let nobody minimize your shine. All right? Shine. Shine. Thank you. And shine. Hallelujah. Let it shine. Not no little light either. I'm talking about a big light. Come on, somebody. We ain't got no little light over here. We got a big light. Don't let it shine. Amen. Amen. We bless the Lord for you tonight. God bless you. Thank you for calling, and I love you. Love you, too. Bless you, Amen. God bless you. Listen, everybody. La di da di. Hey, my Lord, Roski. I just feel Jesus. Oh, by Sunday. Hey, God. It's five more. I got about five more minutes. Y'all better come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God tonight. Call you on the air. Oh, my shit. Hallelujah. Let us know where you're calling and chiming in from. My producer said to me, she said, some of us just like to listen. She said, me people on the line, they just don't say anything. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's why I spend more time speaking in, uh, to, uh, you know, I spend a little longer time with other, the other ones that speak. Amen. Glory to God. But we call you on there. 
Well, let me tell you what I thank God for. I thank God because last night I was hoarse. And I, I thank God for giving me a, my portion of my voice to be able to get on tonight. I thank him, you guys. I thank y'all for y'all prayers. For those of you who pray for me, I thank God for you. Amen. The effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail us much. And I thank God for that tonight. You know what I mean? Uh, some people don't. I don't ask everybody to pray for me. You know, I'm just, but when you know people say, well, I'm praying for you, you know, or they'll write it out. You know, I'm praying for your vocals, Lord. Heal the vocals, Lord. Pour back into it. I thank y'all for that because you don't have to do it. Amen. Uh, uh, call you on the air. Well, I want y'all to know, want you to know tonight that God said he is concreting our call. He's going to concrete our call, making it solid, solid, solidifying our call, making it solid. For some of you, you didn't know who you were called to be, but he says he's giving you now the holy boldness. You're going to know who you are in me. You listen here, you're going to have so much confidence in God, not in yourself, but in God, because you know that in him lies your sufficiency. You don't have the strength to do anything, but with God, with God you have the strength to do all things. Amen. So he said he's going to solidify your call. He's come making it concrete so that everybody will know who you are. You're going to know who you are in God, and you're going to walk in the authority that he has given you with your head held high. Amen. And you're going to do what God has called you to do. So I'm so glad tonight that he's solidifying our call. Amen. So if you don't know, now you know. Glory, glory. You're going to know who you are in God. You ain't going to second guess yourself. You're not going to second guess God. You ain't going to be saying something said. You're going to be saying the Lord said. Come on here. The Holy Ghost said. Jesus said. Come on. Glory to God. Are there any more callers that want to come on tonight? Good evening, Apostle yeah. Jasmine. How you doing? Hey, God bless you, Jasmine. How are you tonight? I'm doing well. It's my thing. I can hear you in one day. I'm excited. All right. <laughs> Glory <laughs> to God. Let us know what city and state you're calling in. Say. I'm sorry. What you say? Let us know what city and state you're calling in from. I am in Starkville, Mississippi. All and, right. Now, um, Mississippi has won tonight. Ah, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're excited. I'm excited, woman of God, about what God is doing in your life. I am really, really excited about how God is raising you up. Some things, you, you know, it's like, um, you know how you can see, uh, a little butterfly, you know, how it goes through its metamorphosis stage. And I'm just seeing you, you know, in your little cocoon and you're just, you're filling things out. You're just like you're gathering information so that when you come out, you're going to be bad to the bone. You know what I mean? It's like you're gathering yes, and you're yeah. retaining all the information that you're learning and stuff. You're retaining it in the morning and stuff. And so you have a better day because now you, you have the, um, you're putting on the mind of Christ. Amen. And, and you're letting God lead you instead of you doing things on your own. You're, you're, you, you also, you're letting the Lord direct and order your steps. So I just thank God for what I'm seeing in you, uh, woman of God. I, my prayer for you tonight is that you will stay with the Lord, that you will not let anything Amen. separate you from the love of God. Father, I ask that you keep her tonight. Keep her in perfect peace with mine and stay on thee. Cover her, oh God. Cover her children. God, cover her father and mother. Cover everything that pertained to her, oh God. Cover her place, her home, uh, her vehicle, oh God. Father, even her business, Father, cover it now. Father, I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you for restoration. I thank you for restoring her back to you. Lord, I just thank you for what you're doing in her life. We give you praise and honor. We give you glory for this vessel in the mighty name of Jesus. We say amen and amen. I love you, girl. Amen. Love you, too. And can I say, I just love you and my auntie Emma. Like, she texted me. She's like, jump on the prayer line. Come on. You know, who am I to turn down the Lord? But I love right. you <laughs> so much Amen. for loving on me. We we yet to meet. We are yet to meet. And you love yes, on me so much. I appreciate it. My auntie Emma love on me. I haven't, we haven't met in person either. We just talked on the phone. And that's God to have that's y'all it. women loving on people that you haven't even met yet. You know what I'm saying? I for pray me. for y'all continuously because I believe you're such a beautiful group of individual women who get up and serve God selfishly. Selflessly. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> and it's beautiful. And I pray for y'all. I don't know how to pray for everybody. I mean, the same thing, but I want to pray for the prayer because y'all thank are doing you. such beautiful things. And I thank you for loving on me and loving on everyone. Thank you. It's to God be the glory, woman of God. 
I give it all to God. Amen. And he told me to start the prayer group in February 2020. I started with uh, some millennials. Amen. It started out with millennials. And, um, you know, and they were so excited about how God moved for them the first week. We were supposed to do it for uh, 21 days, I think. And anyway, we they, they extended it. And so we, we started, like I said, and it's still going on. Amen. And God said, birth them out. It birthed out the intercessors. And so that's what we, we plan to do. We need more intercessors. People don't think that that's a uh, – I believe that intercessors ought to have their place just like a prophet and anybody else because the intercessors seek mm-hmm. the Lord early. Amen. And they get the downloads and strategies, and they can convey it back to the people. So they are very needed in every church. Every ministry needs to be built on a foundation of prayer. So I thank God for the women that get on with me. I thank God for even for the ones who started with me. Some still get on periodically. Some have uh, left all together. But I know everybody can't be on this prayer line because it's VIP. Glory to God. <laughs> but we thank God for everybody. And we do stand in the gap for anybody who calls in. Just, we do. So I thank God for these. All of y'all, y'all are beautiful women of God and doing different things. Hey, but y'all making it happen. And I love that. So I thank God for you. And I look forward to seeing hearing you tomorrow morning at the 6 a.m. Yes, ma'am. Right and early. All right. God bless you. I love you. Now I got to go. Hey, man, thank you for calling. Hey, man. So listen, you guys, I thank you guys for letting me into your homes, into your bedrooms, into your living rooms, into your kitchen, into your vehicles. I thank God for you allowing me to come in. I lot riding with you. Amen. Wherever you are, wherever you tuned in at, even in your, on your bed, whatever, you, whatever you're doing, it has been real. Listen, I want y'all to meet me next Saturday. I mean, where I'm going next Saturday? I don't know. But anyway, I need for y'all to meet me next Tuesday back on the radio broadcast at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next Listen, if you want to come meet me on Monday night, Facebook Live, Sylvia Hunter at 7 p.m. I thank God for this radio broadcast. I thank God for Dr. Kimmy Kale. It's been real. I'll see you guys next week. Shalom, shalom. Thank you. I'm about to 